Hi guys, this is Omar and today I'll show you how to use uh, the Hungry JPEG uh, Splendid September Bundle. Now you can download this at the Hungry JPEG site and the good thing about this um, uh, bundle is that it comes with a bunch of um, elements, illustrations and fonts that you can use in your projects. Once you download all six parts of this bundle, this is a big, big bundle, uh, you will get all six zipped files and you will have to unzip them on a different folder. To me, it, to me it's easier to um, keep them on folders, so I just unzip them to the corresponding folder so I know where the zip file corresponds to. Now you will get six subfolders and each subfolder also has subfolders inside with the graphics and the name of the um, uh, of the uh, elements that come in this bundle. You can click on this uh, thumbnail bar down here and it will show you where the images are inside that bundle or inside that folder. Um, it has beautiful images. Um, like this pumpkin and uh, leaves that you can use for print then cut if you want to. So we will go to the um, first subfolder, which is the spectacular zip one. And you have two subfolders here also. You have the all fonts and these are sorted in subfolders also where you can see what the um, uh, formats of the files are. But the thing I like the most is that it has a quick install subfolder where you can see all the fonts here. Now, if you press the um, thumbnail button down here and if you're an, on a PC, you will see uh, what the uh, fonts kind of look like. And here you can see which one you can select. These are great for uh, writing or for doing vinyl with them. This is uh, one of the uh, fonts that I like the most for doing watermarks on your pictures and this is the one that we are going to use. If you need to install this font there are several ways that you can do this. You can right click on it and click on install or you can double click to check what the content of these um, of this font is and once you're uh, sure that you want to install that font just click on install. and just wait for a couple of seconds and there you go that font is already installed okay so now once you have installed your font it's always a good idea to remember the name of the font so in this case the one what, that we just uploaded and installed is the roulette kwaku uppercase um, but remember the name I'll, I'll always remember the name of the fonts that you just installed so you don't get lost with all the fonts that are installed in your system so after that, we are going to go to pixelr.com. That is www.pixelpixlr.com. And this is the welcome screen. And from here, what you need to do is open the uh, Pixel R editor. When you open this, it will prompt you to install Flash if you don't have it already installed. And once you're here, you can, let me change the language for this to English. There you go. This is the welcome screen for the editor. And from here, what you need to do is open an image from your computer. And you're going to select your project photo. I created a, um, a folder for this. So here is a photo of a project I created uh, recently. And once the um, picture is loaded, you, what you can do is uh, two things. If you want to create an, uh, a watermark with a, a font, what you need to do is insert a font. So we're going to t uh, click on the type tool right here. This is the uh, A icon that you see right here. Or you can also press the T on your keyboard and uh, draw a rectangle or click on it and write what you want to use for your watermark. Let's use OT, which are my initials. And let me move this up a little bit. And from here, you can change the font. Let's look for the font that we just installed. This is the Rollet Kwaku uppercase. And also you can change the size of the font. And when you're happy with the um, size of the font, you can move it around and you can also change the color. Now the good thing about this is that you can, that you can select a color from your project so everything um, is cohesive, your uh, color scheme is cohesive and choose the best one that you think fits your picture. I'm going to use this kind of like a peach color. Um, let me make this smaller. 
click OK there and make the size of the font smaller. Now, if you want to do something um, different with this, what you can do is also change the opacity of this um, layer. Okay, so here we can, what you can do is select your um, font layer and click on the layer settings right here. And here you can see opacity. And we can change uh, or lower this down. And there you go. You're pretty much done. Your uh, watermark is right there. If you want to save this, what you can do is go to File up here and click on Save or press Control s or Command-S if you're in a Mac. And from here, you're going to select your computer. Once everything is ready and your image is loaded, here's a preview of what the watermark is going to look like. And let me see, I think it's just a little bit smaller right there. Let me cancel this and let me move this out there you go now you, now we can see the whole picture and we can take this layer and with the uh, select tool we can move it you know down and to the right a little bit and i think we're fine then go to file click on save or press control or command s if you're in a mac wait for the um, preview to render and once you're ready click on save there you go. Let's click on OK. Select a folder where you want your picture stored and click on Save. Let's hit No because we don't want to replace the original. And let's place a WM for watermark right here. And there you go. The image was saved on a folder on your computer. Now, a different thing that you can do is use avatars. I've been creating avatars for some crafters around. And um, let me use one that I really like. Okay, so what we need to do here is open um, the uh, avatar file. So just click on File, Open Image, and navigate to the folder where your avatar is stored. In this case, it's on the same folder. And just double click on it. This is a PNG transparent background image. And once the avatar loads, what you can do is just put this aside or put it to the side and click on the layer name right here. Hold your left button, your uh, mouse left button, and uh, drag it on top of your canvas. And that's pretty much it. Now, it's pretty big and it covers almost all the picture. So what you need to do is just uh, click on Edit and Free Transform or Control T or Command uh, T if you're on a Mac. Now, you need to scale this, but if you scale it without pressing the Shift key, uh, it won't scale proportionately. So just press the Shift key and scale it down until you're happy with the size of your image. I do this a little bit bigger and put it right there. We don't want the avatar to um, overshadow the project. So I think there it is. Just click outside the image. Do you want to apply the changes? Click on yes, and you're done. So go to file, save, or control S or command S. Now wait for the image uh, and the preview to load. And once you're happy with it, you will click on OK. There you go. Select the folder where you want your, pic your picture stored and change the name to avatar and that's it now you have all the uh, your files watermarked the way you want them okay and here we have the folder where, you, where we've created all the uh, images here is the avatar the transparent background this is one of my favorite commissions i've done so far and then we have uh, the watermarked image with the avatar on the uh, bottom right corner and then we have the original image with the initials watermark and finally we have the original image with no watermark so that's it that's how you watermark your images using fonts or avatars thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys again very soon bye bye